And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans, Droids, Catamuni, Coneheads. <laughs> Don't you worry, I didn't forget about the creepy looking plagues people lurking in the shadows for reasons we may never know. People, you're watching Donald Holiday News, the only news you'll ever need because you have no other choice. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we are coming at you with some weekend AHN. A little bit of auto howl that news to get your weekend going. Hopefully it's going well today. Well, some unexpected news for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. We have the next requirement for GL Ahsoka Tano. And kind of like what we were predicting, two things. Number one, another Relic 9 Ahsoka Tano is going to be required. And furthermore, we have Sabine Red, Padawan Sabine, confirmed as a playable character for you. And you know what? I think I got it on good indication that you're going to be getting Hu Yang 2 right around the corner. Also, we got more stuff. Free mall shards. Make sure you stick around and make sure you're picking this up. Man, big stuff that's going on this weekend. So let's go on in there and show you what's cooking in the kitchen. So you might be wondering, Arnold, what do you mean another Relic 9? No, please, no. No more Relic 9s. I'm like, oh, baby. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. We are going to have another Relic 9 on your radar. So we had a little puzzle last night and uh it led to our a little bit of an announcement here for padawan sabine ren let's get a little zoom in on that we kind of already kind of had a feeling this was going to happen we look at the so far it's looking like the specter is going to be the focal point the specter tag it's gonna be the focal point of the galactic legend of soka tana team or really right now we only know of ezra that has the specter tag and we don't really know who else is really going to get it but we know that if they're trying to mimic what happened in the star wars ahsoka show It'd be kind of weird not having Padawan Sabine as one of the focal members. If Ezra's there, why wouldn't Sabine Wren be there? So here we go. Brand new Sabine Wren. We're going to kind of saw a little picture of her inside of the Balin Skull event. We have a little bit more than what was seen there. We have uh, two special abilities where we only had one special ability on Sabine Wren inside of that. And Gary, let him zoom in on that for a second. So I'm assuming if we're seeing this today, that means Kit Reveal is likely going to be this upcoming Monday testing on Tuesday. I wasn't expecting this. I thought they were gonna let Balin kind of, you know, have the, the you know the spotlight to himself, and they're like, all right, we gotta move on. I don't know. Maybe they, were, maybe they were worried about the people being upset about Balin. I don't know. So we'll have to wait and see. Looking forward to her, and she will be required at Relic Seven. Will be required for Jail Soka Town at Relic Seven, as you see. And the big thing right here. Ahsoka Tana Fulcrum needed at Relic 9. So we got one, two, three Relic 9s on all the Ahsokas we currently have. And in case you forgot as well, it was confirmed during the Balin kit reveal earlier this week that uh, Captain Rex, or more specifically CT7567 Rex, the 501st Rex, that is, is going to be required for uh, Ahsoka Tano at Relic 7. So I'm assuming probably later on when we get the addition of Sabine Wren, We'll probably be able to round out the rest of what's in this next chunk of the requirements here. Gary, pull it up for a second. We're, we're going to take Ahsoka to Relic 9 at the end of this video. This has definitely been the year of Relic 9. I mean, you know, we've been saying that Relic 9 really hasn't been that important from a mechanical standpoint for most characters. Of course, a few characters really benefit from, from Relic 9, but really there's not a reason to go above and beyond. They're making it now. They're like, all right, you know, fine. If we can't make Relic 9 important from a functional standpoint for everything, we're just going to require a bunch of Relic 9. And if you see, currently we're in the cycle where we're working on this. So right now we have CE7567 Rex. We have ourselves Relic 9, Ahsoka Tana Fulcrum. Sabine Ren's going to be Relic 7. And there's one more that we're probably going to be requiring for this batch that we just don't know yet. And before we move on to the next segments here, I'm already telling you right now, Hu Yang's coming to the game. I'm putting 99.69% certainty on that one. Why, you might be asking. I got to say... I wish uh, I wish sometimes things weren't this obvious, you know, just sometimes because sometimes it's nice doing a kyber conspiracy It's not much of a conspiracy when it's like yelling at us right in front of our faces louder than me And that's saying something we go to the daily login awards Shorty's in the club and when we've been talking about who yang Anyone that's doing not even just me. We look we, we we like use like shorty in the background as our indication Like oh, we need to get a who yang inside the game so i'm pretty much gonna put money on it that this is gonna be our indication that hu yang's coming to the game shorty's the login character for the month of november we're still in the ahsoka run shorty's a droid that kind of looks like hu yang hu yang would be kind of odd not to have as part of the ahsoka team therefore with that perfect logic 
I'm pretty confident Hu Yang's coming, and I think that's gonna be probably added for the last batch of requirements. Probably Hu Yang mid November is my guesstimation. That would probably put Gio Soka Tano in December. They've been stretched. Is, when, how long have they been stretched this out for? Was, was it July that Gio Osoka was confirmed? It's really been that long. Wow. It's been a minute. Generally, we get like the Galactic Legend by like n now at the latest. Anyways, they've been stretched out for this l l l later part of the year here. So that's going to be that. When it comes to, you know what, we're going to do the GL Ahsoka, or the, 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 the Relic 9 Ahsoka at the very end here. Next thing I want to talk about with you guys is the login uh, rewards that we have for this month. This is kind of a special one. So on the web store, only on the web store, you have the mystery chest, which we generally get. And it looks like we're going to have three other calendar rewards this month. I'm going to show you the dates in a moment here. But the one that you can get starting now in November is this right here look at that a chance of getting any of these fine mandalorians pretty much all of these mandalorians are good to needed i mean shoot man yeah i'm trying to like think here i mean this is kind of a stretch but candor sordo is probably the worst mandalorian on this list and he's at least useful still in a mandalorian team. and speak of the devil the first time we're seeing something like this they're putting conquest mall not 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 the the old school you know advanced menace mall conquest mall is one of the possible rewards that you can get the only problem is it's being diluted but what is that uh, four eight ten other members so a little bit under one in ten chance or one in eleven chance i should say of getting a mall you know sometimes you know listen you know galaxy Heroes math is a different breed than your normal math out there so hopefully you guys get some good rng if you don't have mall this is gonna be a great opportunity to pick up some shards and the usual stuff of energy credits it's nice seeing these freebie rewards furthermore in case you want to see we got ourselves other additional rewards or calendars that are right around the corner as well so gary go ahead remove my ugly mug for these fine people today they don't need to see me right now so as you can see right now on november 11th we have the new web store mystery chest that we just discussed there boom that's starting today however if we move down, we have another web store account that's going to be showing up on Oct uh, not October. November 4th is when you can expect that. And then there are going to be two more here. We have the web store bonus calendar there. And I actually, hold on, hold on. I actually lied. There's five total calendars this month. You have the, the web store login. And then we just showed one, two, three. Here's number four. The fourth web store calendar is coming November 18th. And November 25th, another web store calendar is going to be showing up in the game so a lot of web store calendars and keep in mind this is the anniversary month for galaxy heroes this game has been around for nine years so i expect sometime this month we're going to learn what the you know what, what, what are the freebies this year what, how many zetas they're probably going to give us like what one or half a zeta you know something like that you know maybe they'll give us like you know two credits i'm joking jokes aside big month for galaxy heroes. making it nine years especially in mobile gaming world kind of says a lot especially a game that has survived and endured when many other star wars games have come and gone that really says something so we'll be finding out that later on this month usually the the, the anniversary words are pretty big deal so i'm looking forward to seeing them but lastly oh boy a lot of relic nines lately mostly just out of like uh, i feel like i'm being coerced to do it it's not, it's not like you know like oh i want to take this character relic nine because i want to we've been getting a lot of relic nines lately where it's just kind of forced for requirements or it just kind of feels like you really want to have it you know like you know we have master quag and patamal we want I wouldn't have taken him to Relic 9 if it wasn't for the event. And then, like, uh, I already got them at Relic 9. I'd take my Queen Amidala to Relic 9 so I could do, use the Naboo Raid. It just makes sense. And I had a Relic 9 R2, so I have to take Queen Amidala to Relic 9. And then now, you know, Baitland Skull's here, and he's a tank. Probably a good candidate for Relic 9. So, like, that one I'm okay with. And then you want Relic 9, uh, Detra Peridia, Night Trooper, Enox. Like, man. Anyways, hopefully this is going to be the last Relic 9 for Ahsoka Tano Galactic Legend. <laughs> oh man <laughs> what an expensive galactic legend this is shape of the bee i'm assuming i'm assuming two more marquee characters so five marquees three relic nines ouch and my big bold prediction i'm still gonna stand by i think the big bold prediction is gonna be Pokaton mandalore so anyways folks let's get out there and in three two one Hopefully the last relic nine. All right, hold on tight. Here we go. I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, 
I'm too weak. Don't kill me with all these relic knives. Yeah.